Hey folks, how you been? It's been a while. Had a request for this tune, and it's one that I do teach my uh, newer students. Uh, you know, after you've learned Cripple Creek and Banjo in the Hollow and a couple things, this is a good one to do. And uh, it teaches you a little bit of melodic banjo style, so it's a, it's a good one. And it's Blackberry Blossom. You can do it. Uh, mostly uses forward and reverse rolls and some different different finger shapes, but I, I'll go through it with you slow, and uh, so let's let's just dive right in. Maybe you can see everything here. Uh, let me play through it slowly for you, and then then I'll break it down. So it, it's going to go just like this. saw some things in there and you thought oh I'll never be able to do that you can do it so let, let, let so let, let's let's tackle this thing so it starts with the same 910 shape that we did for banjo in the hollow so we're gonna do and it's a forward and reverse roll so the forward part of the roll is here five two one five and then we're gonna be at the seventh fret on one and two one two five one, so it's five, two, one, five, one, two, five, one. You got that. And then we're going to be at this shape. We've done this at Banjo in the Hollow, too. It's at five and four. Five, two, one, five, one, two, three, one. So it's just a forward, two forward and reverse rolls. Forward, reverse, forward, reverse. And then you're going to get a C chord. Uh, let's see, there it is. Five, two, one, five, one, two, three, one. So you've got that. Then an A chord. All you need is the first three strings. You can hold all four. I think I did there in my demo right about where I almost messed up. <laughs> so it's just, and here, so this is going to be a little different. We're going to three, two, one. And then we're going to get a D chord. Now, I don't know if we've done a D chord or not, but if we haven't, here it is. So index on the third string, second fret, middle, second string, third fret, ring finger, first string, fourth fret. And you're and really all you need is those, but I like to hold all three. And you're just going to pinch one and two, and then hit your fourth string. So it's so that sounds like and that repeats forward reverse forward reverse and then the repeat part Then we're going to do our first little melodic lick and it's going to be index finger is going to be third string fifth fret ring finger seventh fret fourth string and we're going to do an alternating roll but it's going to be three two four one so thumb index thumb middle in the open three pinch 
So that gives you both parts. Just add a bunch. Just sit there and go. Because you'll use that lick a lot. Three, pitch. So that gives you your A part, and you do it two times. Now the B part. It goes to E minor chord. We've used it in Foggy Mountain Breakdown and some other stuff. And it's just a hammer. Four, two, one, five. And then you're going to pick up your first string. One. And you're gonna put it back down and you're gonna pinch five and one. So it's four, two, one, five, one, pinch. So your your right hand does or your left hand does this little dance. It goes hammer, up, down. So practice that a bunch. And then what you're gonna do, you do that one time from hammer, one, pinch, and then you're gonna do a forward and reverse roll, but the left hand's going to do the same thing. So, kind of separate your hands. So, go four, two, one, five. So, four, two, one, five, one, two, three, one. Notice how that one goes back down. Hammer, open, three, one. And then it goes four. Does that one more time. And then we're going to slide up to a B chord. Now you could do a B chord just four in a row right here if you want and do a forward and reverse roll. But I like to just take the, and my middle finger on the third, second fret, ring finger on the first, second fret, and we're going to play a forward and reverse, but we're going to slide up to four and keeping that shape. And I just like the sound of that. You don't have to do that. You can go if you want to, just the bar, but I like that double B ring in there. So let me walk you through that really easy here. So hammer, one, pinch, forward and reverse. the E minor again, forward and reverse, and this time I just stop on that third string, so 4, 2, 1, 5, 1, 2, 3, because I'm getting ready to do our big melodic lick, and this was probably the first legit melodic lick that I learned, and it's, let me play it, and then I'll show it to you, but the lick is... So what you're going to do, index, fifth fret, first string, ring finger, second string, seventh fret, and it's five, two, one. So just do that, five, two, one. And then you're going to go to this shape that we've used in banjo and the holla. It's five and four, five, two, one. So five, two, one, five, two, one, five, two. So in the, we're just going to pick that finger up. So five, two, one, five, two, one. Pick this finger up. Five, two, one. So it's three, five, two, ones together. Now don't get hung up in the pattern of going five, two, one, five, two, one, five, two, one. You got to make them all stick together. And now we just need a couple more notes. So you're going to come. So index finger, fifth fret, third string, three, two, ring finger, fourth string, seventh fret, four, and then third string open. So really slow. Five, two, one, five, two, one, five, two, one, three. And then that 
whole E minor part repeats again. So let me go through the whole thing, both parts, a little more tempo. Take your time with it. Don't, there, there's no rush on any of this stuff. Just take your time. Do it a piece at a time. Hit the little gear thing. Slow it all down. And you can see it real super slow. YouTube does that for you. And uh, be sure to subscribe. Check out the, check out the links. And uh, we'll uh, see you next time. Good luck.